This right here is the control fruit, and it's rumored to be the next fruit to get a complete makeover. Which means that this fruit might never be the same anymore. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to, you know, fully awaken it while we still freaking can, man. So, let's get right into it. So, the control fruit, if you didn't know, it's the it's the fruit of my law in the anime. And it's actually insanely overpowered. I mean, even in the anime, it is completely broken. Oh, my God. Wait, this guy already wants to fight me? Okay, well, uh, I guess we'll just get straight into it. Holy crap, that does so much damage. Damage. Oh my god. So yeah, with this fruit, what you can do, on a, I mean, just with the levitate ability, you can just like pick up parts of the world and launch them within your bubble, which is kind of insane. But sadly, it's going to be within the bubble, meaning that we can't really make things go too far. Come on. Oh my god, dude. He's getting so freaking close. All right. At least we dealt some damage here so that he can't regen. Wait, we couldn't freaking. Oh my god, dude. Levitate didn't work. How are we getting into PvP already, bro? We just freaking spawned in. Okay, we might be dead here. Oh, we might be dead. Come on. Launch it! Oh, dude, that was so close. Wait, we actually killed him! Okay, there you go. So yeah, the way it works, uh, now that I can actually explain myself, pretty much the control area, you launch this huge bubble, and the, the longer you hold it, the bigger it gets. And uh, pretty much anywhere in here, I will be God. Like, literally, I can, I don't know, chop a part of that, uh, you know, freaking, I can actually chop the entire igloo away and launch it at someone, which is completely insane. Uh, we didn't have, end up getting killed there, but it's fine. I, I really don't want to PvP right now. I just want to check out the fruit, man. It's been, been a very long time since I've actually played around with it. And I mean, last time I did, I remember just really enjoying myself. So let's launch that there. Ooh, wait, 8,000 damage. Does that mean that this thing does like 4,000 damage on each individual? Yeah, dude. Holy crap. Wait, but does the size of the actual object matter? So the way it works is you can like click the igloo and then I can click on the guy and I can like, you know, it launches towards the guy, but the damage is the same. So, I mean, at least there's that. It doesn't really matter because no matter how big the object is, uh, you know, it does the same amount of damage. But actually, fun fact, did you know the biggest item you you can levitate in the entire game is in the second C. I'll actually show you what that item is. Before we do though, is there a smoke guy? All right, so is this gonna work? Oh, wait, this is not gonna work inside. We're actually gonna have to use it outside. Okay. Ugh! Okay, so we can actually hit him though. So it should be okay. Wait, where is he? Okay, wait, if we just do it behind the wall. Okay, yeah, that, this is definitely the way this is gonna go this the fastest. But man, I gotta say this fruit is so far, even the X ability, which is pretty much like every other fruit's Z ability, because it's the one that like has like crazy fast, uh, like, re what do you call it? Like restart? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty dang powerful. And as far as I know, the control fruit is considered like very, very good, but insanely difficult to use in PvP, which is why most people don't actually use it. Wait, actually, I think we can boost some of the attacks if we also use Coco. So yeah, just holding Coco actually boosts damage on some of these attacks. Not this one though. <laughs> and there it is, baby. Give me them levels. Give me that sword. I want all your crap. <laughs> Give me all of it. I want it all. Okay, so I want 122 already. 122 levels, bro. Are you kidding me? That's actually kind of amazing. Wait. Oh, no. I just now realized that we're going to the cursed ship. Everything is indoors. I don't even know if we can do any attacks. Oh, boy. This might be really bad. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Um. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. All right. Here we go. Make the bubble, and we're going to just press X here. Oh, wait. It actually worked. And holy smokes it worked really well like better than i expected it to work actually that's amazing <laughs> all right cool yeah we can actually do this all right there we go first quest completed wait i think there's actually re yeah 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 re 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 recently new code devs cooking yes and it worked okay 20 minutes here we go it's actually kind of shocking how often you can actually use the levitate ability like wait oh my god okay so there's the i think it's the zebra cap that like shortens all like casting speed of like attacks okay, actually wait is it that one or is it the chopper head? Oh, wait, okay. It's actually the chopper head. I was about to say, we could actually rock with the full law outfit, but yeah, that's actually not the best way to do it, I think. Uh oh, there's someone here. Well, I don't know if I trust them. Okay, whatever. I'm just, I'm, oh, wait, it's my friend. No. Okay, wait, I'm still PvP disabled. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> also, this right here is actually the man that ended up giving me the control fruit. So, so thank you, brother. <laughs> oh, we got the next ability. Okay, so this is actually, oh, you know what? I'm actually going to unequip the Coco. Uh, this is actually where the Coco makes this attack even more powerful. So, within in our like our zone we can hit the echo knife which i actually think yeah that, oh wait that is within our reach okay dude look at that damage 5200 okay pretty much anywhere within our bubble i'm pretty sure we can just do the slice yeah we just go chop 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 i actually don't know what the range is on but i think it's pretty crazy good like at least if i remember right okay wait wait okay so you actually have to be close for that
not attack. Never mind. That is not the one with crazy range. <laughs> there is one with crazy range. That's just not the one. But still, yeah, look at that. Okay, so how much damage does this do? It does a whopping... Wait, that did 3,900. I'm confused. Does it, like, change depending on how you hit it? Oh, wait, the, the control zone was down. Wait, is that why? Okay, now... Okay, yeah, okay. I think that was the control zone. So 5,200 damage. And then let's equip Coco. Okay, so we're, we're doing it again. Okay, wait, we killed the guy too early. We killed the guy too early. That one doesn't count. All right, here, boom. Okay, let's do it again. So we're gonna do that exact same attack. 5,000 damage? Wait, why is the damage so different? Weird. It seems that it actually does, like, different amounts of damage every single time. I don't think I've ever seen another attack that does that. Also, yeah, you can only do this attack on, like, one guy at a time. So you can't just, like, hit everybody with this thing. So there's this guy that actually wants to trade uh, Gravity for Buddha, and uh, I said yes to the trade, but then I realized I actually um, don't have Buddha, so I'm just gonna give him Herm Buddha. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, but he's throwing in dragons? Okay, uh, wait, no, 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 no. Dude, this guy literally does not want to give me the gravity. He's trying to give me all this better stuff. There it is, perfect. All right, okay, perfect. So, yeah, now uh, we're going to be able to do a video about gravity, which, by the way, got a complete revamp. So, kind of excited about that. Holy crap, dude, these guys do a lot of damage. Oh, man. Wait, what? They all ended up a... What? How is that even possible? Dude, they were all floating. <laughs> Okay, whatever. We'll, we'll just take those kills. There it is. We got a couple of levels. All right, now I gotta say, dude, getting all the way to level 350, only killing regular enemies. I mean, I would literally be on this third C at that point. So I think we're gonna actually have to kill a couple of bosses. All right, so let's hope we get lucky. And there's actually a boss here. And there is no uh, boss. So I guess we're gonna get server hopping. Slice, 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 baby. Oh, dude, I'm actually really liking this fruit. Okay, wait, so this guy, okay. So I think this guy has some kind of damage resistance. Wait, no, it does different amounts of damage. Like, if you hit him straight on, it does different damage than when you hit him, like, kind of close. Like, look, 3,700. But look, 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 look. I'm going to hit him, like, straight on. Okay, I actually completely missed. There it is. Wait, what? 3,700 again. Why, why am I doing less damage now? I'm so confused. Whatever, bro. We're going to just hit him with the Echo Knife. That time I did 3,600 damage. Like, 3,790. Yeah, dude, it's completely random. All right, so that brought us to 180. And, uh, well, guess we're going to get back to it. Oh, a fruit spawn also. We actually unlocked our teleport ability. So yeah, if you're wondering what the teleport is like, it's actually one of the like, kind of like one of the craziest teleport abilities in the entire game. Because pretty much you can make this huge dome and literally teleport anywhere within it instantly. Like, whoa, look at that. Wait, actually, you need to click on a block. And there was no blocks in mine. There was no blocks in my area. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So now there's blocks there. So yeah, I can literally go like boom, teleport right there. Instantly teleport. Like, it's actually kind of nuts. But sadly, you first gotta like actually make the uh wait no, someone got the fruit. You gotta first make the actual bubble so yeah and i it kind of only is really really good in pvp but outside of that it's not that amazing for actually getting around so yeah on that note uh time to get back to work wait it's pvp time oh my god okay okay wait wait i can do this i can do this slice him <laughs> mamma mia pizzeria oh my god dude, we're hit, being hit with everything they got holy moly dude this is scary wait but they're dead hit him with the l dance okay actually that's not a boat um anyway we only need Need, like a couple more levels right here so let's just go ahead and get him man i like this fruit dude the amount of times you can actually hit that uh, uh x ability i mean it's kind of insane like pretty much while you're in your bubble you can kind of just track whoever is your enemy and just continue to spam x like it's actually a pretty good strat new skull available we can now do honestly what'll probably be the best ability on, on this entire fruit let me show you exactly what it does so pretty much all you need to do is create a control area a little something like this. You hit the gamma knife on anyone and everything within the entire freaking giant dome takes ridiculous amount of that. Bro, I literally took half of their health away. You, 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 got, you gotta be kidding me. I mean, th that's insane. So yeah, like they literally cannot escape. It's like a full like movie. You literally put them in a little movie sequence of you killing them. Like, it, it, it's freaking crazy, man. Like, all right, everyone wanna get die? Oh, wait, sorry. That's the wrong move. Uh, everyone ready to die? Okay, everyone ready to die. Everybody within the bubble is just simply gonna die. I mean, look at it. it, it it's ridiculous, man. Even the animation is just absolutely brutal. I mean, that and the fact that there's literally no way of escaping it just makes it like one of the craziest freaking moves in the entire game. Also, guys, one thing I actually quickly wanted to mention is that as your mastery level goes up, the size of your bubble actually goes up as well. So as you guys can see right now, my bubble is like, like that big. If I was level 600, it would, I'm pretty sure be almost like twice as big. Bubble can, 
get insanely large, making this actually one of the very few fruits where getting your fruit to mastery 600 is a huge advantage. Because, I mean, when you're using the control fruit, you can kind of only really PvP within your bubble. Like, anything outside of it, I mean, you can't do anything. So, yeah, on that note, I think it's safe to say this might be, like, one of my favorite fruits to use just for fun. I think this is a really fun fruit to use. Is it something that I'm going to use all the time? Uh, probably not, but I'm really, really excited to see what they're actually going to do if they redo this fruit. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, it could use a little bit of a, a, a little bit of a facelift, okay? Making everything go a little bit smoother because, yeah, right now it is very hard to use.